additional people you've never heard of and who probably never worked again. What? Do I got something on my hood? What? What? This movie is nothing but this, folks. She's a fembot and she's about to explode. You can beat the freeway traffic. You heard it first here, where we make it happen. Now here's Scrote Dog and the Firkin with an earthquake. It's the first shock wave to hit the area, and this one reached 4.5 on the Richter scale. This is KKC Los Angeles News and Views. Where earthquakes only temporarily affect our horrible DJ voices. What's the matter, lady? You got your steering wheel on the wrong side of the car? What the hell are you trying to prove, lady? You want to drive in a demolition derby? Go do it on a track. Funny. Very funny. I suppose you didn't notice. The rest of the world is having an earthquake. Look, you got two feet. One for the accelerator and one for the goddamn brake. Not how people actually drive. Oh, wait, crap. I, I took the turn too wide. Should we retake Keep the Keep rolling. Hole? It's just hard to judge with this idiotic car you got me driving. Maybe we Keep could just... Keep rolling. Just getting out of my normal car on the passenger side, like I always do. Yep. They feed the negatives in backwards? What the hell's going on with the cars? <sighs> Massive engine damage, but his top concern, the loss of his $40 kendo stick. People are people wherever they exist. Well, that sounds a lot more convincing That's when you're stoned. It's been nothing but bad luck for this clown since he started dressing like the brawny paper towels guy. Anybody home? My truck broke down evidently within walking distance from here. <laughs> yeah, I assumed it was farther away too. Behold the wonders of a location chosen for its tax breaks and non-union crews. Then a time she strips down to a Raquel Welch 1 million BC style bikini. Mm, Joe Pesci's gonna be pissed when he realizes one of the heads fell out of his duffel bag. Gross, he's like a hairier version of Chewbacca. Tragically, he's standing on our tax from the never ending story. Six words for you guys. Bath time at Harry Knoll's house. <laughs> One of those moments that's just so beautiful, no words are needed. Oh, thanks for saving me. Us gals gotta stick together. Well, got a city council meeting starting in five. Thanks, lady. I have never been more turned on in my life. Getting the feeling this screenplay must have been written by stoners. No, I'm sorry, I meant stones. Actual minerals lacking imagination or brains. Oh, local Moose Lodge here to welcome her? Oh, Moose Lodger, cannibalistic death called who can tell? I'm an electrician. Crucified blindfolded guy looking good. Wait, what? Ladies first. Oh, no. I don't like the way those pint sized midgets committed suicide in installments. And Peter the Dinklage crosses her off his Christmas there. card list. Okay, by me. The wire. It's okay now. I just changed into sweatpants. Oh, God. No, it's the caveman's kidney stone. A dimension where simple physical action results in cartoon noises. This music only works over a Chamber of Commerce video boasting, Downtown is back! <laughs> You're right, Mike. Cartoon noise world. Except when someone gets hit in the head with a pipe and for some reason they use a truly sickening, skull-shattering noise. Mm -hmm. Really quite shocking. Yep, Bill Clinton, all right. I knew that vegetarian diet would do that to his skin. I did not peep at that woman. Wait. I saw a bunch of wild scientists drinking around a watering hole back before. there. Where? In the lab. 
Bob. When Hartman disappeared, it was behind him. Terrific! Yeah, no idea how that proves anything, but as long as your boobs are squishing up against me, I'm fine. Plaid shirt guy's tender love theme. Oh, you know, it's perfect for this part of the story where a young, bland man and his trusty plaid shirt go into the woods to forage for food, go through some life-changing experiences together and realize their love for each other and then join the Grand old Opry with... What the hell are you telling us, soundtrack? Ride, Discount Dolph Rocky! <laughs> Speak to your doctor about male camel toe. Oh, for f***'s sake. Warrior encampment or lunch break for a Renfest cast? He says words, but all I hear is... Ah, the first Nelson family reunion. Bob Reiner has really let himself go. Girls as thick as your hide. A very common reaction upon watching Prisoners of the Lost Universe. Now go. Oh, you evil smelling shrimp. May you suffocate in your own fat, you tub of grease. Oh, they just recreated the Tom Arnold Roseanne Barr wedding vows. You see, this is why we can't have nice spears. Oh, sorry, Captain. I'm uh, hard you too. So I guess haw means uh, come watch me throw these spears I pulled out of the ground back into the ground. Ha. Right. If you win, you and your friends are free to go. No problem. Start the contest. Hey, hold on a goddamn minute. What the hell am I getting myself into? Question you should have asked your agent before signing on to Prisoners of the Lost they Universe. Pull out your tongue. Uh, you realize... Yes, I'm wearing a silver diaper. I know that. That's all they give me to wear. Thanks for pointing it out, you jerk. Okay. You swore... Oh, sure. When I wear that outfit, my church asked me to step down as youth leader. Eat. Damn you. The new slogan for Golden Corral. Eat, damn you. Hey, everybody check it out. I've invented the giant safety match. Huh? Huh? What's wrong? He says he needs water. Uh-huh. Water? Where? Yeah, you could also tell because he was panting and pointing at his mouth with his hoof. <laughs> what do your dark eyes tell you, Dorkalus? Over there, in the trees. There are leaves. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Kansas City Royals dugout. Yeah, they've had some budget cuts. Yeah. I need your help. I have nothing to say to you. Well, I have something to say to you. Better listen. I'll blow the whistle when you are in. I saw your Rogaine bottle. Oh, but you forget. He listens to me now. How else would I have been able to save Dan and the others? Putting out? This I, I assumed putting out. Crew. And just what do you think he'd do if he thought you were plotting his death with your powers and potions? Damn you. Enunciate when you whisper. I heard none of that. Damn you. <sighs> oh, cramp. Gas. <sighs> Existential depression. 